Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being able to connect, being a, a piece of the puzzle uh, upon everybody's journey to help them along the way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like um, you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos have good vibes or good information you would love to share with the loved one family or friend um, that are going through some trying times right now maybe needing to find out their sole purpose or even on their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for um for the support is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all don't know if i repeated anything twice but i'm just hearing my dad in my ear and he's doing some funny stuff and i'm trying not to bust out laughing so you know um this my my energy has really been in tune so if you start seeing any lights flashing across the screen hey that's what it is um the video meditation video i'm using today is called uh calm celtic flutes in instrumental Celtic music for sleeping and relaxation, deep relaxation. I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Heyoka's Accomplished Big Goals and New Milestones. Y'all, oh my gosh. Yesterday was such an emotional, memorable moment for me. My daughter graduated yesterday and it reminds me of the title I had, what was it, a few days ago, talking about graduation day, get your cats and ground, gowns ready. So I felt like you know, it wasn't just her graduating, but it was me as well. And it was like, um, I actually uh, did a really crazy thing, but it, I already see that the universe was orchestrating it, because I told y'all, when you're heading towards that finish line, about to venture off into a new chapter of your life, no matter where it is, you know, it could be a few steps forward, or shoot, it can be a whole state forward, you know, um, you will be constantly tested. So the, my abusers, my mom's ex-husband and his wife came. I invited them. You know, I did that for my daughter. Um, but I won't go into detail about it. But the only thing is, you know, I was really nervous. I've been nervous about this all week. That's why I guess I had to take off two days. Plus, I was burnt out anyway because I've been doing videos back to back to back to back to back. But it was a beautiful thing to know I can finally look at them in my, their face and actually say, y'all don't have that effect over me anymore. And it was a beautiful blessing to be able to know you, I just snatched my power back, didn't even ask, you know, excuse me, I didn't even play Monopoly, went past go and went straight <laughs> two paces forward, you know, because I knew, um, for me, always constantly saying, you know, you have to let go, you know, no matter how painful it is, nobody needs to be stuck and that trauma replay all the time. You're not, you know, um, it's a blessing to be able to look at your accusers, not have any kind of hatred, not any kind of uh, resentment, because it's like I told y'all before, you know, if I didn't, you know, if anybody, when y'all been with me for a while, you know the things that has been placed upon me. If you don't know, you can, you know, watch other videos uh, about me talking about the situations I've been in and how I, overcome a lot of things that I've really been through and it was a very emotional moment for me because even before I left I cried I talked to my mom my, my mom's spirit and I told her how hard this was you know um, even though I said I forgive them you know that disappointment and hurt was still there because that's family you know when it when you thought it was and it's just like when I seen them even though they were trying to reel me in again you know, and I'm just like, no, I'm good. You know, I'm okay. You know, I said, I'll be that bigger person. I'll be that better person. And it's just like, you have to be able to look at people like that and just really, you know, without that hate, you know, anger, I had to really say, you know what? 
you have really been through a lot. You know, when people put you in, into a, a situation where it's very traumatic, you have to understand they're broken as well. You know, they've had to be really some broken souls to be able to put some kind of hold on people like that. And that's how I saw, saw it. It went from rage, homicidal rage, rage, pissed, annoyed, angry. Then it was disappointment, sadness. And now it's just like I had to use my empathy. I couldn't, I mean, it, it felt like a big weight has lifted off my shoulder because it was like I was putting fear in there. And even my, old, my little baby, she was like, you know, because she's the old soul as well. She was like, Mom, see, you place fear in a situation was not even there, you know, because everybody was looking at me like, oh, God, is she going to snap? Is she going to act crazy? Is she going to beat their ass? Is she going to do anything like that? And I did nothing of the sort. way I was talking to them is like I'm talking to you. And, you know, that's the scariest thing you can actually do to an accuser. I mean, a, a not accuser, but an abuser. When you, there's every reason for you to be enraged for the things that you have went through and when you can look them in their eye and I looked them directly in their eye and had no kind of hate in my heart anymore and then when I came home I cried again I had to just thank the heavens I said thank you for having my back for that you know that was my milestone that took me a minute even though I've forgiven them for this, you know, but it, it's been almost three and a half, four years. I saw my adopted father, my mom's ex-husband, you know, a couple of days before my dad's anniversary last year. And I took my power back. But just to be able to snatch it back from him as well as his wife, especially when I know everything he did was for her, you know, I didn't, you know, I could have just listed off all these things, but I said, for what? You know, when it deals with narcissistic people, they will... You can't argue with them because they will never see fault in it. So instead of wasting your time and your energy, place it on things that you know what you're doing this for. You know, you, you I didn't forgive them for me. You know what I mean? I didn't forgive them for them. You know, I didn't do this for them, for them to be invited. I allowed my daughter to see that. I wanted them to be able to see my daughter graduate because they've been there at the other two graduations for my two oldest daughters. So I told them, I said, I wasn't going to do that to you. And I said it so calmly, and I know that's like the most scariest thing, because I know I was I was that topic of conversation all the way home. Like, she didn't snap. She didn't bring it up. She didn't know. For what? <laughs> For what? It ain't going to make no difference, because it's like, even though you never told me sorry, I had to take that sorry I never gotten. Being able to say, you know what, I'm taking my power back to get my peace of mind because I deserve to be happy. You, Y'all can go on about y'all business and do what you need to do. Even though y'all are trying to reel me back in, you know, for the sake, you keep saying it was for the sake of love. It's not, that's for the sake of being deceitful and being controlling. And I didn't allow that to happen. I'm like, no, I'm good. You know, it's okay. You know, I, I said, this is all for my daughter. This is my daughter's day. You know, I want y'all to be able to see her do this milestone because it's very important to her. And she needed as much support as possible. You know, that for her, that's still her grandparents. For me, it's no family, you know. Um, but it was a beautiful blessing. When you're able to go through things, and I know a lot of y'all have been through so much traumatizing situations. And I know it, at times, especially the, the things that you endure, it's hard for you to be able to let go of that pain. But you deserve that. Just for you to be able to open your mouth and project the things and tell people your story on the things that you have endured through adulthood as well as your childhood. That is your strength. You know, nobody was placed on this world to be tormented, to be tortured, to be laying around being depressed and, you know, hurt all the time. You deserve to feel love. You should deserve to feel support love you know all these things in life you deserve to be happy so it's like when you're going through things and i know it's at times it might be hard for you to be able to forgive your accuser i mean you're i don't know why i keep on saying accuser but the person that you're accusing of this doing these things the, the person who has put certain situations on you that really messed you up mentally allow that mess to go even though it might be hard as hell to do that but I'm telling you, it will make your heart better, not for them, but for you, you know, for you to be able to go through life and being able to be 
that victor of that billboard to be able to say, yes, I endured this during my life. Yes, I endured this during my childhood. But look, I'm still alive. These people can no longer have power over me. I place them up out of my life. Forgive them for your peace of mind. Get to your next chapter in your life because that's what you deserve in your life. It's not for you to keep on replaying the painful scenarios that has happened to you for years or, you know, that has, you know, happened a long time ago. You're not, that's not how you're supposed to live, you know, and I know it can be a hard situation. It really took me a lot. It took me almost two and a half years to get over something that I've, I've endured since I was eight years old. You know, and yesterday was such a beautiful milestone for me because, you know, I hear the heavens and them just congratulating me. For me to be able to be around my, my mom's ex-husband and his wife and then my ex, <laughs> his ex-girlfriend with her kids, even though this is after me and him dated, they were all there and I had to deal with all of them. And it was just like, you know, me and my ex were already on pins and needles because he already knows how I am. But it's just the fact is I've endured so much at a so, certain period of time. That has to take a lot of strength for you to deal with three straight people. <laughs> three people. And then you already getting into it with your oldest daughter because the grandparents then hooked, line and sinkered her for her to be looking at me a different way, dealing with her as well. And everything worked out so perfectly. And it was a beautiful blessing. It got me and my daughter back talking you know uh situations occurred with me and her that we were distant for a while and it was just like you know i i don't want to keep arguing about stuff like this you you set in your mind a certain way and i'm setting in mind a certain way but you're still my daughter and i'm you know and i'm still your mom regardless of anything you can't change that so we just left it at that you know because it's just like always starting to start an argument when we get into it about certain things but it was such a blessing to be able to just let it go. Like, I mean, arguing about you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. You know, especially when somebody doesn't see fault in the things that they do. They're not going to argue and it's just your children. You know, y'all going to bump heads. <laughs> and it's just like me and my daughter are too much alike. She a Capricorn, I'm a Taurus. We're going to constantly bump heads. But being able to look at things from a different perspective of your life because I know like I know I know you probably repeat this one so many times but it is so true I know y'all have endured some the worst pain that person can all you know be you know that can be placed on them but being able to know that you're stronger than you realize you are by taking your power back I mean it takes a weight off of you I know I felt like I was 50 pounds left, you know, 50 pounds lighter yesterday just for being able to do all those things. And I was just telling myself, oh, I'm, you know, I was like, like my higher self was like, see, I told you. I'm like, man, I'm shocked about myself, you know, because it was just like, even though you say you forgive somebody that has done so many things, it's different when you're seeing them in your face. Are you going to be triggered from the stuff that happened a long time ago? Or are you going to be able to let that go? And it's just like, when I seen them, I had nothing, nothing there, like, because I can feel, you know, as us being empaths, they were fearing me more than I feared them because they did not know how I was going to react to them. And with me reacting, because they always, you know, I, you know, that's my adopted father. So he already knows how things trigger me. But the worst thing you can do to a person that has done things to you is not to get enraged like that. That's the most scariest thing because they don't know how to predict the next thing you're going to do. So I had to let that go. And if you're enduring the things that you really know you deserve happiness, even though you can't you can't change the things those happened in the past, but allow yourself to let that go for you to have a better future. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I missed y'all so much, but I had to get a day or two of recharge. I really did because I was dealing with a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and give my post notification shout out to Richard Mora and El Checo uh nova nova Ista. so much love to you like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love to hear your feedback on this video i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at everything you do and i will see you on my next video send out as much love and light and positivity as you 
possibly can. Hit that notification bell, share, give me a thumbs up, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can as well. Oh, if I already said that already, go ahead and do that. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for you better days. Much love, peace, and be wild.